today we're going to be making an orange soap. The fragrance that I'm using is a mandarin essential oil. This was given to me by Renee. And if you don't know who Renee is, she is practically the leader of YouTube soaping community world. When we have collaborations, she is in charge. So to go along with our mandarin essential oil, we are going to be using some orange peeled granules. Now these are kind of coarse, so I ground them up. It's a still a little coarse for soap, so I'm not putting that much, but it's much more of a powder than little kernels. And then just going right along with this theme, we're gonna use some orange mica, specifically orange you lovely. This was also given to me by Renee. She sent me an orange kit. We are also going to be using these little citrus fruit slices. The way we're gonna be putting that together is with some melt and pour. This is soap that you melt and pour. Sodium lactate will be involved, powdered sugar for the sweetness of the orange, and kaolin clay in hopes to keep that essential oil in my soap. A lot of soapers like to say that the kaolin clay absorbs and clings to the fragrance to hold it there. In other words, anchor. So let's hope it works. I don't know if that's been proven or not, but it sounds great. It sounds like it would work. So yeah, let's go make this orange soap. The very first thing we're going to do is disperse some orange you lovely mica into some rubbing alcohol because we are going to make our slices. And here we've got our melted melt and pour and I'm going to go ahead and add in our color. Well, I'd say this was a successful guesstimation of how much melt and pour to use. Now I'll set our oranges off to the side and we will continue with our project. I actually already unmolded one of them to make sure they were ready. And I found the best way to get these out of here is to pinch both sides. Instead of pushing down on the sharp part, to pinch in both sides. Gets them to come out pretty easy. So we've got some very orange oranges. So here's our hard oils. Because I was waiting for those melt and pours to finish up, my hard oils are no longer perfectly clear. They're more opaque. Here's my soft oils and our lye water, which I forgot to mention in the intro that there is some tuss of silk in here. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit in here because I'm gonna color it orange. And the oil that I used to disperse that orange was from the recipe. It's not extra oil. Then in here we've got our kale and clay, our powdered sugar, our essential oil, and the uh, ground up orange peel chunks. I have no idea how this fragrance behaves, but it will be fun, won't it? Kind of looks like it might accelerate. All right, let's go ahead and pour that in there before it gets any thicker. And then our unfragranced orange pouring from way up high. Was that a messy pour or what? Man, I got wild. Then nice and thick, huh, guys? Nice and thick. Whoa. Good thing I left the fragrance out of the orange part. OK, 
Goodness, that was some major acceleration. Okay, I'm gonna bang this down real quick. I had to bang it down a lot, actually. Now, I need to be able to shove in these little oranges. And because I have this unscented bit of, oh my goodness, bit of batter, they should still go in pretty nicely. No, I'm not measuring. I'm just putting them in here. I should have measured. Major acceleration. I got to have two accelerating soaps in a row. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put another slice in because I've got plenty, obviously. <laughs> Alrighty, we will see you for the cut, everybody. Here we are tomorrow. Certainly seems ready. And I gotta tell you, this is actually a really fun soap to make. I know acceleration can be a, a very frustrating thing for a lot of us soapers, particularly when we have a design that we are wanting, like really bad wanting. I I actually rather enjoy acceleration if I'm not doing like a collaboration. If I'm doing a collaboration, then it does bother me. And I do want to make sure that my fragrance isn't going to do something I don't want it to do. But when I'm just making soap because I like to make soap, um, acceleration does not bother me. It's kind of fun to have a different experience. Know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense to anyone. Change our angle for, for your viewing pleasure so that you can get a good look at this soap with me. Now I have this loose because I have to try to get between those oranges. So first of all, of course, let's cut off our ledge. And see how our very first cut looks. Oh, that's actually very nice. I like those swirls. Pretty. I'm really, really curious if this is going to do any changing, color changing. Oh, I still cut an orange, but it looks kind of nice. Looks like there's an orange slice in there. Oh, uh, the orange inside looks really good. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but it's it's actually quite sparkly, that orange. It looks very good. Ooh. I like this texture up there. Looks nice. Well, we had to cut a little bit of a, an orange there. Just a little bit. Pretty. We've got nice, subtle orange, orange swirls in there. I'm thinking about naming this soap after the mica name because I really like the, the name of the mica. Do you remember what the name of the mica was? Oh, we're going to have to cut, again, our orange. Because I did absolutely no measuring. I am so happy with how these turned out. I'm really happy that there's it's not loaded with a bunch of, a bunch of holes from, from how thick the batter got. That's wonderful. Beautiful. I love it. I really do. I'm really happy there's not globs of orange because when you watched me make this soap, there was globs of orange, but it mixed in quite nicely. And with my end pieces, I like to cut them all in half and give those away. So I typically, sometimes more, but typically I have four, four sample slices. So we got these cute samples, a, a decent size too. Well, wasn't that a bunch of accelerating fun? It's been about five days, I believe. The smell makes me think of the, uh, the essential oil section of any essential oil selling place. 
but it only slightly smells like orange and the rest of it kind of it just kind of reminds me of an essential oil like or that end cap that has essential oils on it we've got our side stamp here because it looks nice i like i like the side stamp if it's if it makes sense to put it there i think this soap turned out very nice so this soap is dedicated to renee this is for you renee and i'll send you one once it's cured and see what you think of it we've got our nice little orange speckles I'm excited to try it out. I still have a little bit, a few more weeks to wait, but we'll do a suds test in a few weeks, maybe a month, we'll do a suds test. So my question for you, if you want to answer, is what is your favorite citrus fruit? I think mine is lemon. See you next time.